Commissioner, you sent for me? Ever hear of the memory chain? No, that's a new one, isn't it? The memory chain is a skillfully organized pipeline through which vital information has been leaking out of this country. Well, what's the memory part got to do with it? No documents are involved. It's all done through a system of uh, runners. Uh, we've caught up with the first runner in Lisbon. We we're two days too late. We traced the next one to Paris. We were six hours late there. Sounds like we've been running a poor second all the way, huh? Yes, that's why I'm sending you to Munich to come in first for a chain. Munich? We think that's the next transfer point. Of course, it could be the last one. You notice that clasp, that big link? Find him and you break the chain. Any idea who the runner to Munich is? We think it's a woman named Eva Schaefer. Okay. Who do I contact over there? Kurt Allison, and he's waiting for you right now. Steve, a lot of vital information leaks out this way. Get over to Munich, work with Kurt, and go anywhere and do anything you have to to keep that equation from getting through. Well, that's it, Steve. You've got your assignment. Good luck. <laughs> Sure, I've got my assignment. Fly over to Munich, Germany and meet another agent, Kurt Allison. Then work with Allison to try and nab a runner in a quaint little organization known as the Memory Chain. So what it all boils down to is, I'm supposed to guess who has a vital secret locked up in his head. This would be a great spot for a mind reader. It's Thursday when my plane lands in Munich. I learn that Allison is registered at a hotel, a little joint, called the Koenig. I head for his room. Hi, Steve. Good. How was the trip? <laughs> the usual. Hey, got any line on this Eva Schaefer? Down the hall, room 210. <laughs> I spotted her at the depot when she arrived from Paris. Heard her give the cab driver the name of this hotel, so I broke a few speed records getting here ahead of her. <laughs> hey, you got her room wired? I had the clerk stall her in the lobby long enough to slip a bug in her room. <laughs> Filing her nails. Huh. She's been doing that just about ever since she arrived. That sound can get awfully annoying. Yeah. She made any effort to contact anyone? None. The evening paper, Fraulein. But I ordered no paper. It is a service of the hotel. I see. Very well, thank you. Could be a signal.
grab something. Can you see what it is? Looks like a pencil. Gold pencil. Somewhere for all I right into it. Take it easy. I'll get you a doctor. Oh, it's no good. It's too late. Steve, watch out. There's another. Kurt. So Kurt dies in the service, and I try to figure out where do I go from here. I know now that Eva Schaefer really is a link in the memory chain, but as she passed on the atomic formula. And to whom? I'm sorry about your friend. I suppose you are going to check out too? Has anybody checked out in the last few minutes? Has anybody checked out, he asks. I've almost worn out my arm waving goodbye to the bus. The bus to where? The Bauerbach bus. It just left. Bauerbach? Where's that? In the Austrian Alps, near the eastern frontier. Uh, who left? Oh, they all left, all three of them. Who's they? Fräulein Kent, Herr Carlos Grippo, and Herr Gordel. At best, it's a pretty slim lead, but right now it's my only one. I hire a driver and head east toward the Alps. Six hours later, I arrive at the Bauerbach Inn. It's perched on a mountainside. There are patches of snow around, and the whole place looks like a Christmas card, but I've got a strong hunch that whoever I find there, it won't be Santa Claus. Mein Herr. Good evening. Welcome to Barbach. Thank you. I see you have some other recent arrivals from Munich. Carlos Grippo, Helen Kent. Yeah. If you are a friend of hers, I would be glad to tell her that you're here. No, thank you. Never mind. Why not? It's really quite flattering to be inquired about. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I know you used to know another Helen Kent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Disappointed? Certainly not. You uh, staying here long? Depends. I like excitement. <laughs> it seems to me you must have come to the wrong place for that. It doesn't look very exciting around here. It wasn't. It's funny how an atmosphere can change. That could be an interesting topic of conversation sometime. Like over a drink in front of the fire? Why not? Your face is familiar, sir. Oh, yes, the lobby of a Munich hotel yesterday, huh? <laughs> you have quite a memory. A photographic one, if I may say so. I pride myself on it. Gordell is my name. Steve Mitchell. Miss Kemp. You're a guest here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Splendid, and we shall see more of each other, hey? <laughs> a lot of him to see, hmm? <laughs> oh, this is a friend of mine, Steve. Carlos Grifo, Steve Mitchell. Hi. I wonder, Senor Mitchell. I thought we were going to take a walk around. Oh, well, I'm really too tired, Carlos. Be a dear and get us all a drink, will you? Oh, may I? Oh, well, he doesn't mind, do you? Of course not. <laughs> he doesn't seem very happy about it. Oh, he means well. It gets a little boring, though, at times. <laughs> Have you uh, known him long? Oh, not very long. He's uh, 
disgustingly rich, I understand, comes from South America. Has a new hobby of following me around lately. <laughs> Quite a hobby. Well, I can think of more interesting things to talk about than Carlos. Such as? Oh, us. <laughs> you see. Uh, what, are you on vacation? No, working. I take pictures for a European feature syndicate. How about you? Oh, vacation mostly. Going to stay long? Well, that depends. On what? The atmosphere? <laughs> Are we back to talking about the atmosphere again? <laughs> you know, this could turn out to be something... Well, I'm Kent. Oh, that's the guide. Uh, Mr. Steve Mitchell. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Uh, have all the arrangements been made? Yeah. We leave early in the morning. Leave? Uh, on a hike. Oh, where to? Up there, sir. Up there? Yavor. Hey, <laughs> to the top. You got ambition. Uh, well, I, I thought I could get some good shots along the way. Want to come along? Who, me? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. You break your back getting up there, and then what do you do when you get there? Well, you look on the other side, then you come down again. What's on the other side? The border of another country. Oh, I see. Who are all's going? Well, Carlos and I, and August, of course, would be the guide. Mm-hmm. You know, I've just changed my mind. I think I'd like to go along. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Carlos. Clumps of me. I apologize. Oh. Does it uh, disturb you that I'm going along? Why should it? That's what I was wondering. Of course, mountain climbing is not for amateurs. Well, I'm no whiz at it, but I think I can hold my end up. I hope so. Hey, excuse me. May I talk with you for a moment? Oh, well, of course. I have an extra outfit you may borrow, Herr Mitchell. Thank you. I suggest you get a full night's sleep. It'll be a hard climb tomorrow. I beg your pardon, uh, but I'm told that you will climb tomorrow. <laughs> I would like to join your party. The man of your bulk. Oh, you find me quite light on my feet. <laughs> uh. I will make the arrangements. You seem rather anxious to get up that mountain, Goriel. Oh, on the contrary. I have not the slightest reason for making the climb. Uh, that's the beauty of it. Oh? Yes. I delight in acting upon the slightest whim. And the more spontaneous, the better. <laughs> that's very interesting. Isn't it? And I'm quite sure our trip tomorrow will prove equally interesting. Yes, I'm sure it will. <laughs> The big link. Helen, Carlos, Gordell. One of them could be my boy, the runner in the memory chain, taking that atomic equation over the border in the morning, but which one is it? Somebody doesn't want me around. In the morning, I'll be climbing that mountain. And I've got a strong hunch that one of the members of the party will be doing his or her best to make sure that I come back down the hard way. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here's your pack, Herr Mitchell. Thank you. Hey, Gordell. Did you sleep well? Oh, like a log. Didn't move a muscle. <laughs> I, too, this up on air does something for you. Where's Helen? I would like to get started. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning my dear. Good morning. Hey, Grippo, your ice axe is missing. So? <laughs> it must have slipped from my pack. Now, I get another. Pretty careless of an old mountaineer like you to lose your ice axe. All right, this one. Ah, there you go. All right, we stop.
You better stop here for a rest. Wait here. I could use a rest. Pictures. Oh, are you kidding? I'm too busy trying to get my breath. Carlos is an old hand. Doesn't seem to bother him at all. Seems funny an old hand should lose his ice axe. You seem quite disturbed about its disappearance. I was disturbed about it last night. I do not follow you. You know, I think I can get a pretty good shot of the valley from over there. seem quite taken with her. Could be. Any objections? <laughs> Why should I have? That's what I was wondering. See, I understood. Well, didn't you follow her here from Munich? <laughs> oh, I assure you, it was the other way around. What? Mitchell, I have a considerable amount of money. I do what I like. I go where I like. At the moment, I like to climb mountains, so here I am. But I do not follow women. I may say so, they usually follow me. Hmm. Well, that's nice work if you can get it. <laughs> Steve, would you come here a moment? Yeah. Now, who is it who follows women? <laughs> well, like I said, it's nice work if you get it. <laughs> uh, would you steady me while I take a picture? Sure. I'm the best little studier on this alp. Uh, Dana. Uh, Dana. Ready? Yeah. Uh, hold me tight. Gotcha. Hold me now. Yeah. Hey, that was quick. Too quick? I could take another. On second thought, I... I could save the film. Hey. Hey, that was close. Well, you, you better watch out for me. My kisses could prove fatal. Now watch your step. Be very careful.
What happened? Oh, I turned my ankle. She oh. cannot climb any farther. Oh. Well, what happens now? Well, we have a little now of the top. You mean the border? Yeah. There's a little hut with medical supplies up there. There we can get a basket stretcher to let Helen down the mountain. Those of you left behind will have to wait right here. But I will need one man to accompany me. I will go with you, August. I think you should stay with Miss Kent. I'll go. No, I am the logical one. I insist. So, Carlos and Gordell are both eager to make the trip to the top. And the border. Well, one of them could be my boy, but I don't know which one. I think I'll go. I need the exercise. No, I, I am the best climber. Well, allow me to remind you that I am the guide. I will take all my shoes. You, come. Well, I, I was sort of hoping that you'd stay. Well, I'll see you later. I hope. You're probably wondering why I, I selected you, huh? I'm glad you did. I don't trust either of those men. I don't know why. You got company there. I don't trust one of them. Which one? There you got me. All right, observe what I do now. Where I place my feet, you do the same. Hey, aren't we doing this the hard way? What do you mean? Looks to me like that ledge winds around right up to the top. Yeah, but it would take us too long to reach the top by following the ledge. This here is a shortcut. Huh. Use this. Hi. Right. Now, do exactly as I do. I'll try to do better. Part company, Herr Mitchell. Huh? We have reached the border. Oh. So I found my boy, the big lake, at last. At last. But too late. <laughs> Why was August trained to kill you? Because he was the big link in the memory chain. The memory chain? I don't understand. Well, it doesn't matter. The big link just lost his memory. He got amnesia the hard way. Now, well, let's get that stretcher back to Helen. We can get it down faster by the shortcut. Uh-uh. We're gonna take the long way home. <laughs> 